Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, an Italian watercolor artist. For those who don't know me, I have a passion for art supplies and art. I am a self-taught artist and in my learning journey, I have relied a lot on books to learn. One of the books that really taught me a lot that uh, I have enjoyed very much was uh, this book from Emma Block, The Joy of uh, Watercolor. Incredibly good book. I have just bought and received today Watercolor Life, her second watercolor book. And uh, I have also used a lot uh, her book about gouache, Get Started with Gouache. Now, today I'm reviewing for you her first book, The Joy of Watercolor, the perfect book for beginners. Let's have a look. This is actually a great book. When I was a beginner, this was probably the turning point in my art. It gave me confidence. It gave me a sensibility for colors. It uh, taught me that uh, you can have your own style and you don't have to copy what's in a book and you have just to follow along and uh, interpret her with your own style. She has a style that is very, very different from mine, but it's so detailed, this book, so step by step, that you can really follow along and um, your style will naturally come through during the process. So what I'm proposing to you today, we'll browse uh, through the book and then we will draw together a project. So the book is a hardcover book. Let me take my watch off because it's noisy while I'm filming. And um, it is divided into chapters. It's very smart book. I'll show you why. So there's a content page, an introduction, and uh, materials, very important. She's very flexible for materials. She recommends to use some good quality, at least the student grade and uh, the primary colors. So she recommends what color to have so that you can mix all the colors you need, what brushes to buy or paper. So it's very exhaustive and you start to be delighted by her illustrations. So look at how cute her illustrations are. It's a bit um, naive style. It's very, very pretty. I love it. This book made me fall in love with watercolor. How to organize a studio, color theory, undertones. If you buy the colors that she recommends, you can't go wrong. Some mixing exercise and all the basic techniques, wet on wet, wet on dry. And then she starts very very quickly with real projects because i think that when you're a beginner all you want to do is paint and succeed paint become familiar with brush strokes colors and draw some projects that will make you happy so she proposes different chapters for instance flowers and each chapter has different projects for all skill levels for instance flowers has a simple flower for beginners, big couple for beginners, they're all so pretty, and um, beginners, beginners, she's more abundant on beginners. Autumnal flowers, I made these all. I was so happy when I painted those. And then she has an intermediate project and then an advanced one and so on for each of her chapters painting fruit you have beginners intermediate and advanced so that you can really choose if you want to finish a chapter from beginner to intermediate and advanced 
or as I did, you finish each chapter with beginner level and then you start all over again with an intermediate level and then you pick the advanced projects that attract you. This is what I made. So I started with painting all different things for beginners and then I stepped up. So let's see what other chapters. We have seen flowers, then we have fruit, she has some very delicate pastel colors. Very, very lovely illustrations. I couldn't believe what I could draw following the book. It's really step by step. Then we have fruit, then plants. The wreath, simple wreath a whole garden this is advanced this is really cute even the advanced projects like these colorado white flowers they're quite approachable none of them is too difficult they're very straightforward very delicate very friendly and adorable then you have one of my favorite chapters objects so you have bowls, I made this, I adored this. Vases, chairs, shoes, this is wonderful. And then once again, a chapter that I was really crazy about, painting food. So from cupcake to ice cream and popsicle, sushi, this is, this is so cute. And then a very important chapter. This chapter taught me a lot. Painting people. From basic faces and proportions to skin tones. I still use some of her tips on skin tones. How to paint simple faces. And advanced project with postures and gestures that are more advanced but still approachable. Family portrait is so cute. Animals, also very nice. I don't like to paint birds so much, but I like cats and dogs, so I painted the dogs. And then, last but not least, locations. My son was uh, in Santorini that summer, the first summer after high school, between high school and university. So I, I painted this while he was in Santorini and it was a present for him when uh, he came back. New Orleans houses, a tropical beach. Look at the colors. I hope you can see colors on screen. A street, so basic perspective. This is very lovely. Of course, you can adapt each drawing to your style, but her style is so pretty, so lovely that I suggest that really you can follow along and then you start interpreting Santorini. A Brooklyn Bat brownstone. This is so cute. I haven't done this. And Marrakesh market. And that's her. So. So that's the book. It's quite thick. It's packed with projects. They're suitable for all levels. They are delightful, all of them. They're very approachable. There are no mistakes. It's really soigné. She's very careful about details and um, let's pick a project. So I have picked the Brooklyn Brownstone because I think uh, it's adorable. I haven't tried it so and uh, I'm looking forward to drawing this with you. Let's get started.
So you see, it's impossible to go wrong with these uh, detailed uh, instructions. I'm a bit messier than Emma, but I'm so happy about the result. And uh, it's a lovely brownstone house. And uh, if you're a beginner in watercolor, I think uh, this is a perfect start. Uh, it's uh, easy, it's friendly, it's detailed. Uh, I was a real fan of this one, so absolutely I can recommend this very, very useful book. It's the one that I have used the most in my watercolor journey. Thanks for having watched this uh, review of uh, books with me. I'm a book fan and uh, if you have this book, uh, please do let me know what uh, your impressions are and uh, if you have used it, if you like it, and if you have the following uh, books. And uh, thanks for having watched the video. If you liked it, do not hesitate to like and subscribe. That would be awesome. That's all for now and ciao from Elisabetta in Italy.